Hola, you amazing artists, and welcome to the studio. Today, I wanted to talk about balancing multiple things, like basically life. This is one of the things that Clay and I have been really uh, focused on for 2023 because we're trying to simplify everything. So right now, we create art, jewelry, music, books, blogs, t-shirts and merch, videos, podcasts. We run a rogue community membership site. Uh, we're organizing in-person artist workshops. We do gallery shows and festivals, not to mention the admin and running our business. And I didn't even mention, you know, doing repairs to the house and like cleaning dishes and like domestic arts. When you look at that list, I mean, it's like, it's almost a paragraph long. So I actually kind of glazed over while you were reading that. What a couple of overachievers <laughs> what are you trying to prove man why are you doing so much you know i remember uh when i started patreon somebody actually who had subscribed they were like you do too much i don't want to deal with you so obviously that list is like both of us there's two of us that are doing all that stuff and you know we try and juggle everything but honestly Sometimes it gets overwhelming unless you have some kind of system set up. The things you do are not the things that are going to overwhelm you. It's the way you think about the things that you do are is is what's going to overwhelm you and cause you to burn out. And it's something that we're still in the process of figuring out. So I just want to let you guys in on what is the, what is the secret that Rafi and Klee have figured out? Besides teamwork makes the dream work. Ah, teamwork makes the dream work. It's such a cheesy. So the first thing is establish some kind of a routine, right? Some kind of thing that's gonna help you like be able to focus on one thing at a time. Cause here's the biggest issue when you're doing several things is that you go to do a thing and your mind is like, you should be doing the other thing. And you're like, no, I'm gonna do this thing. No, you should be doing the other thing. And then like, let's say you go to do the other thing and then your mind is gonna be like, you should be doing that other thing that you were doing, pulled in a different direction than the thing that you are doing. And that's why I think establishing routines, having having like a day where it's like, all right, well, this is the day that my focus is here. This is what I'm focused on. And we do that with the videos and things like that, where it's like, all right, this is my media day. This is our music day. This is, you know, basically anything that is extra to the art studio, the art studio is the given. This is what we do for a living. This is the this is the big mamma jamma of what we do. This is the main event is the art studio. I think that the work there is like really training yourself to focus on that thing and not allow the voices to tell you you should be doing something else, right? Don't shoot on yourself. Quit shooting on yourself. The other thing I would say is like you set priorities, right? So like daily, Clean and I will take a look at like what we have going on that day. And the reason we do this daily is because sometimes shit happens. Sometimes shit happens. Be like, I'm gonna do my admin stuff every Monday. And then something happens in your account or something happens in life or some shit happens and you're like, ah. So your plans need to be flexible. You, you have to be able to change your plans daily and move things around and basically prioritize, all right, what needs to be taken care of this week? What needs to be taken care of this month? In that, you might wanna start setting, uh, I hate calling them deadlines, but you might wanna give yourself like an idea of when you want to release certain things, right? So like, I wanna release a book every year. So I know that there are certain times throughout the year that I'm gonna have to be working on that book. There has to be some time allotted for the book. Now, again, that's all flexible. You have to figure things out daily. In my mind, daily is a good way to do it. So Clean and I will sit down in the mornings, we'll have our coffee and we'll talk about like, what are we doing today? And then there are some days where it's like, I don't feel like doing shit today. I'm not gonna do shit. Today is an easy day. I might get down in the studio and varnish some paintings, but that's about it. You have to decide that for yourself. And by the way, if you are in that place where you're like, I'm not doing shit, it might be because you feel that you do too much. You also have to give yourself that time to like just relax, take some breaks. Whatever it is that's gonna make you go for a walk, do things that make you happy. Yes, creating the artwork makes us happy. Working on these videos makes us happy. If you start to get into a place where you feel that you have to do that, I have to create art because if I don't create art, then everything falls apart. I have to post videos because if I don't post videos, everything falls apart. Whenever you get into that mindset, the best thing for you to do is to take a break and not do anything. And you don't wanna train yourself into a place 
where you're constantly chasing a rabbit. Whenever I get into that mindset where it's like, I need to do this thing, because if not, everything will fall apart, then I reel it back. I reel it back. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm not posting a video this week. I'm not working on any artwork. I'm not releasing a new whatever. I basically make sure that I'm taking care of myself, my mindset, and my emotional state before anything else. I don't chase rabbits because rabbits are really fast and you will never catch them. Exactly. Did I say rabbit or did I say carrot? You said rabbit. Chasing the rabbit. <laughs> There's a lot of systems out there that are for time management and juggling different things and blah, blah. And I can, and let me be honest with you, none of them work for me. You cannot manage, there is no way to manage time. Well, I'm gonna spend two hours now working on this and then you go to start working on it and it's just not doing what you need it to do. And what you actually need is like six hours. It's better to just manage that task and be like, all right, right now I'm focused on this. There are other things on my list. I'll get to those when I'm done with this. And you take as long as you need to. The other thing that I think about is avoiding overcommitment. Uh, that's super important to us now because, you know, with the move and everything, we had a system in place when we were in Pensacola and then things changed drastically in our lives. And that system was completely outdated. I would say constantly reevaluate like what it is that you're doing. Really think about whether or not it's something that you really want to do or is it something that you quote unquote think you need to do in order to, you know, avoid this bad thing that might happen in the future, you know, like whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, make sure that it's something that you really, really want to do. If it's something that you don't want to do or you can't find a fun way of doing it, then see if you could delegate. Think about delegating, think about eliminating it from your thing. You could only focus on one thing at a time, right? That whole multitasking thing is absolute and complete bullshit. That multitasking is bullshit that it doesn't exist, it's not real. For example, I work on multiple paintings. So I'm focused on that one painting and then let's say it needs to dry and I'm just sitting there waiting. Then I move on to a different painting and I focus on that painting. It's not about working on several things at once, it's about working on individual things in segments, right? But it also helps that it's happening in one place. So it's happening in the studio. I would not segment um, video editing because that's going to take place upstairs. So like upstairs, you know, I'm taking, I'm segmenting certain things, but down here, everything kind of revolves around the art that I'm creating. The actual skill is shifting gears and being able to focus. Exactly. Shifting gears and being able to focus on the task at ham. Be present. I think I just said the task at ham. Ham on, ham on. Be able to focus on the task at ham because that's the only thing that's going on right now. Be present. I know that's gonna sound all like airy fairy and stuff, but be present in your moment. That is the ultimate thing is like be present in what you're doing and don't think about the million other things that you have to do. If you're working on something and you're thinking about a million other things, you're not gonna be productive. It's just not gonna work out for you. And that's the irony of it is that a lot of times we don't feel productive. We drive ourselves crazy because we feel that we have too much going on. And then we end up not being productive because there's just a lot of hemming and hawing and, and you know time spent thinking about the wrong thing, the thing that's not right in front of you. At the end of the day, I would say the, the main th takeaway here is figure out a system that works for you, be flexible in that system, and remember, there's no way to manage time. You can manage the things that you're working on. So take a look at the things that you're working on. Do I need to do this? A lot of times what Clee and I do is we do a brain dump. We list all the things that we do and I'm like, what things here am I gonna eliminate? Let me eliminate some things from this list. Lately, what we've been doing also is prioritizing our well-being, prioritizing that rest is vital. You wanna be productive, you gotta figure out how to rest more. And I know that it seems contradictory, but that is the truth. You wanna be more productive, you gotta figure out how to rest more. That goes hand in hand with a great piece of advice that I read this morning, which went like, why don't you just quit trying so hard already? And I was like, Ugh. Quit trying to think of a million other things that you should be doing. Just do the thing, get it done, and then move on to the next thing. It's, it's really quite simple. The hardest part is getting our 
you know, our brain jar to wrap around that. And that's it, you guys. That's all I have on balancing multiple art projects. Obviously, as we go through this process of simplifying, if anything else comes to the surface, we'll share it with you guys. Curious to know, you guys, like, how do you balance, you know, when you have multiple things going on, how do you balance them? How do you reevaluate? Or do you end up just burning out? It, burnout is real, you guys. It's a, it's a real thing, and that's where that's why self-care is the number one thing on this list. You take care of yourself, you end up being more productive. Stop trying, you end up being more productive. Don't try, just do, you know, like Yoda says. And a big shout out to our rogue artist community. You guys are awesome. You guys are the reason that we're able to do these videos. So thank you so much. And thank you so much, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you wanna watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. I will talk to you later. You wanna say goodbye, Klee? Good day. Adios.